Hi folks, today I bring to you um, a driver of a LCD uh, with a reference PT6523. This is a, um, a driver to liquid crystal display and um, have uh, three common points uh, and can uh, control only uh, 52 segments by uh, control this means you can control until uh, one five six segments uh, displays okay because each common pin control until 52 segments of the display okay i, I create a small code to run over arduino and um, draw uh, some um, uh, segments uh, numbers uh, and the letters in this case three letters and uh, the numbers from uh, zero to nine uh, the, the display you can uh, you can uh, see here have the three first displays uh, with uh, um, 16 segments and the remaining uh, digits uh, is only have uh, seven segments okay the 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 signal to control this uh, display uh, have uh, three pins in this case the clock uh, chip enable and uh, the data in of course you have also the the common pin the gnd okay Here you have the pinout of the the, the chip, and uh, uh, I connect uh, the bar of the pins uh, present here in the, the the board. I start from the right to number one to the left to until number ten, and if you look here, you can see the first pin go to the one LED through one resistor. After you have the, the backlight uh, of the LCD, you have the GND, this is not connect, direct data here, uh, clock, uh, chip enable, uh, this is again D again, and here you have the plus, uh, go to the um, IC drug two diodes, and after you have one resistor to polarize or to pull up the, the pin 57. The number 10, um, I, I don't reach what, what is uh, connected. And with these uh, points, um, you have everything you need to power up the, 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 the IC. You can see here the three common pins okay um, each pin of the common one two and three control uh, until uh, 52 segments okay this is important points um, about the, the 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 bit you send to the lcd and here is the solution if the clock is trimmed terminated with high uh, level okay if you look here you have bit one two three four five six seven eight and change the chip enable at uh, bit number eight okay you have the clock and you when you reach the bit number eight you must change the chip enable and keep it upper until the bit uh, 160. Oh. Also, you can see here the the last uh, four bits. Uh, the, the, these bits um, is uh, responsible to control the stats of the display and make the switch on switch off of the segments, and also to control the bias of the LCD and to define if the stats uh, working is normal or power safe. Okay, this is stats of the, the last uh, four bits and you can see in the code, for example, if I put 
this bit and this with the value 1, uh, the display uh, stay off, ok? Now I let here the, the map of the displays. Um, you can see um, the connection uh, between the, the, the numbers um, of each segment. And this is the first digit of letters, the second and the third. And you can see the uh, the number one, two, uh, three, and so on. Okay. The second digit you have number nine and so on. And with the the third digits of the letters, um, you have also the numbers here. And this is a group of five uh, small uh, seven digit segments and this is uh, five digits uh, of seven segments but this is uh, uh, um, bigger of this okay you have these first three digits after you have this five and after you have this five okay you can see here the corresponding corresponding number for example if you want put here the number one you must uh, switch on the bit 81 and the bit uh, 96 uh, okay and with this information you have all of your need to um, construct your code um, and um, running the, the solution based in the PT6523, ok? Here you have the trace of the signals for the common 1, common 2, common 3 and this is a segment signal, ok? How you can see each uh, common pin have uh, upper level lower level and the middle point okay 